we bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo De Rosario. We give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Diego Dario. And in tonight's Game Plan, we'll talk about what to expect in Game 6 of the PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals between Barangay Ginebra and Bay Area. We'll also catch up with the NLEX Road Warriors, Brandon Goelos Rosser and Justin Chua as they look ahead to the next conference after their run in the Commissioner's Cup. And we'll take a look at the close race in the Western Conference standings in the NBA. The club sports fans, let's get in the game. We're just a few hours away from witnessing Game 6 of the PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals. Can Barangay and Ebra finish a series against Bay Area? Or will the Dragons live to fight another day and send us to Bukawi Bulacan? Ooh. Let's get a preview <laughs> from basketball analyst Mikey Reyes. Mikey, welcome back to the show. It's good to be here again. It's fun to talk about these the finals, I, I believe it's one of the most exciting in recent memory. I agree. I, I have would to agree. agree. Of course, with the foreign uh, opposition and uh, Barangay Ginebra being the, the team that they are, a lot of people have been comparing it to a bit like Gilas. Kasi For sure. May, may oh, national sure. anthem pa, yep. even before the even game. Even before eh. the games, right? Oh, oh, so, okay, biggest story that's coming out ahead of this game, Mikey. Miles Powell, yeah. babalik na daw in exchange for Andrew Nicholson. How does that change things? Well, obviously, it's the first time that Coach Tim and the rest of the Hinebra Gin Kings would have to face uh, Miles Powell. And what's tough is all you have is tape. That's all you have. Mm -hmm. Tapes, mapaparod mo yung games in the elimination round. But it's different when he's right in front of you, especially a talent like Miles Powell. Mm -hmm. So I think with this, it's going to change the complexion of the whole series. I know their backs are against the wall. But with a talent like Miles Powell, it's, it's just different when you have someone who, that caliber. Mm -hmm. And Mike, you've covered so many PBA yeah. games. You covered Bay Area with Miles Powell there mm -hmm. and uh, with Andrew Nicholson there. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng Bay Area when you bring in Miles Powell in trade for um, Nicholson? Mas bagay sa Pinoy. Mm. Mas bagay sa Pinoy yung Miles Powell. I actually covered that game where he, where he hit that uh, buzzer-beating three-pointer against Northport. Right. Mm. And also, we talk about the crowd of Inebra. Always, Coach Brian has been talking about how it is the first time to be in such a hostile uh, territory atmosphere. I think Miles Powell is the only guy in that Bay Area squad <laughs> that can somehow get the oohs and the ahs of even the Kabarang guys. Mm. So that's big in a, in, a, in a series like this or in a game like this. This important. One big highlight play from Miles Powell. Medyo makukuha mo ng konti yung crowd. Mm -hmm. Now, for those wondering why he wasn't playing, it's because of the injury that he yeah. suffered uh, prior to the series. In fact, uh, we saw a lot of Andrew Nicholson because he didn't have Miles Powell. But then, is that going to be an issue, his health? Niya? Well, if, if, they, if they let him play, then he's going to play. I know that he loves to compete. I know that he's going to be hot because he's just not going to experience ng Ginebra. Mm -hmm. And every time you're on the bench, I'm sure when you watch a game like this, you would love to be a part of it. So, I'm sure, you know, adrenaline will kick in once he gets his legs under him. You know, you don't want especially with a crowd like that. Right, because, yeah. I mean, reports have been saying he won't be 100% yeah. but with a caliber of Yan, player like, din nila, hindi like naman lalaro, eh. power, right? <laughs> but it's going to be interesting how this will change everything. But let's talk let's talk about Hinebra. I mean, their performance, Justin Brownlee, crazy performance, both offensively and defensively. And of course, he's Stanley Pringle, that one-two punch nung um, previous game. Can you talk a little bit about that and how that will translate? Translate to the next game, Mike. Well, I love what Coach Brian said that he compared uh, Steve Kerr to, mm. to Stanley Pringle. I love how Stanley Pringle has evolved his game from being a solely slashing, you know, right. tough shot, uh, tough shot taker, mm. tough shot maker, to someone you can rely on to spread the basket, uh, to spread the floor, and especially with Hinebra, with the lack of shooters, of known shooters. Uh, for lack of a better term, pwede mong puntahan ngayon si Stanley mm -hmm. Pringle. And coming off the bench, ganun yung lalaroin mo, then that's a, that's a big plus for uh, the Jim Kings. The Barry Dragons will be hoping to get healthy, especially for the next game because of the fact that no, wala nga si Glenn Yang Glenn. in the last game. Mm -hmm. Played 48 minutes a game before and of course, Andrew Nicholson's not gonna be there. But you base on, a, well, you take a look at what happened the last game and uh, adjustments have to be made. Mike, so, ano yung pinaka-obvious doon? Pinaka-obvious for Bay Area? Well, they have to allow Miles Powell to do his thing. Because again, with a talent like that, sometimes you have to ride that talent. Yeah. You don't want to keep him shackled. Na. At the end of the day, when you, when you lose this game, wala na, uwi na tayo. After six months here in the Philippines, uwi na tayo. So, I'm just going to give him the floor and, I'll, and 
allow Hinebra or challenge Hinebra to stop Miles Powell. So that's the key for Bay Area oh, he to needs force. To, he needs to go off. To yeah, force Powell. a game seven. I mean, that off. one thing is to give him the ball, and another thing is for off. him to put that ball in the basket. But for Hinebra, they always say that the toughest games to win are the closeout games. What does it take for Hinebra to close it out in game six? Parang sa atin, the toughest games are to win are the games. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Buti pa sila kumuklose. Oh, kahit na lang yun muna. Okay, kasi na kumuklose out games. Eh. But for them to finish this series is the same thing. They need to eliminate, they need to contain Miles Powell. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Miles Powell, you know Bay Air is gonna go to him. Yeah. As right. great as they have been without an import with this one, at least you know very well that Miles Powell will try to take over. They have to put you know, different assignments on him because no one man can really stop him for that long. Mm -hmm. So it will be also a uh, question who will match up with Miles Powell. So yeah. it's not going to be L.A. Tenorio. Maybe it's going to be Scotty, maybe it's going to be Jamie, maybe sometimes it's going to be JB. So, you know, the chess match will continue between these two coaches. Well, the reason why is, you mentioned uh, L.A. Tenorio a while ago, the reason why Sani Pringle did explode is because the L.A. Tenorio had to leave earlier as a game because of a little injury that uh, Coach Tim Cohn says day to day. I wouldn't be surprised if L.A. does suit up, but it's uh, maybe if limited, if they are limited, how much more pressure is that on Stanley Pringle to step up and fill in the void of L.A. Tenorio? And I think it's not just Stanley Pringle. Obviously, Stanley Pringle will take mm -hmm. the minutes of L.A. Tenorio, but the role of facilitator, mm -hmm. a little bit more on Scotty. Alam naman, Scotty is going to be ready for anything. Maybe yeah. Nard Spinto will have uh, quality minutes to really facilitate the offense and all that. But, you know, L.A. is not number one. L.A., alam niya na may bonus after tomorrow. <laughs> So, we'll play with Kuya Ele. It's not possible to play with him. We'll find out everything that Mikey said and Mikey probably hot takes. There's no hot takes. There's no hot takes. We'll find out in the next game. It's a delicate hot takes in the series. That's right. That's right. We'll still have him after the break. We'll catch up with the NLEX Road Warriors as they look back at their conference run while looking ahead to the upcoming Governor's Cup. Stay tuned. You're watching The Game.
Welcome back to the game. Among the many PBA squads who went through major changes this conference, the NLEX Road Warriors were on the brink of a playoff breakthrough. Joining us tonight to look back at their Commissioner's Cup campaign are members of their squad, Brandon Ganuelos Rosser and Justin Chua. Gentlemen, idols, welcome to the game. Hello, good evening. Thanks All for right. having us. Hey, thanks, guys. Let's, let's start it off with uh, BGR. Brandon, um, your general thoughts on the Commissioner's Cup run, one game away from making it to the playoffs, but as, as a lot of people know, you guys are basically a rebuilding squad, new pieces, including the coach as well. How was that whole experience for you, Brandon? Brandon? Uh, it, was, it was really, you know, a, 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 can you hear me? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Hold on. Yeah, um, you know, it was a challenge for sure for us as a team and then uh, for myself, uh, you know, it was a challenge, you know, getting traded from Blackwater to Inlex. So, um, you know, I think all in all, you know, we played some good basketball. There's some things we got to work on. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the next conference uh, to keep building on it. Justin, could you give us a, a brief preview of just how difficult or rather a brief review of how difficult it was last time for you guys? Because if I'm not mistaken, you have three head coaches and you in like a week or two. <laughs> so how was that adjustment process? How was trying to figure things out? And eventually, when did you feel that the team started understanding each other and what you were trying to do? Uh, it was it was really hard, to be honest. Because uh, like you said, like three coaches in like two weeks. So like three different systems also. So it's mahirap siya. I guess we got our bearings towards the end of the conference now when like you know and dami nang nangyayari sa team we had lots of practices so I guess kulang lang talaga sa time sa preparation so hopefully this conference will be better Justin as I told you before the show si Mikey has some stuff ready for you specifically kasi nandito pa rin siya eh. so Mikey what do you really want to tell Justin how's the how's the no the adjustment <laughs> of the team Personnel wise to what Coach Frank is trying to do. Because I covered him in college, Justin. I mean, nung ano, uh, itong hule sa perpetual when he was handling si Benedict Adamos. But how is it yung incorporate yung system and how are the personnel wise, paano na ka adjust sa mm -hmm. uh, current uh, system niya? Well, sa ngayon, medyo mas nagigay okay, mas nagigay fluid na. I guess parang na nalagay niya na yung kailangan niya ilagay and then it's more on reps na lang kami. So hopefully this. This preparation, at least kahit pa paano may one month siya na, you know, everyday training, wala pa namang game. So, full on, ano talaga, learning the system. So, hopefully this time around, it would be way better. Alam niyo yung biggest adjustment? Hmm. Yung mura ni Coach Yeng Tagalog eh. Ngayon, English yung mura ni Coach Frankie. <laughs> Yun yung biggest adjustment. <laughs> eh, ito, let's talk to, to BGR about adjustments. I mean, Coach Frankie Lim na-mention niya na the, this break is actually a chance to install yeah. the defense. Yeah. And BGR, how is that for you? I mean, probably you will be that anchor on defense um, for this NLEX Road Warriors team. Uh, you know, he just wants us to play hard. You know, he wants us to play together, you know. All right, so we have a bit of a trouble. We have a bit of trouble with BGRs. You know, a lot of people don't audio. realize that you know defense. So, um, oh my god, it's all right. Sorry, uh, BGR. We're gonna try and get you back in just a bit with regards to that. But uh, Justin, uh, at the, at the meantime, Shempre, when you have a team like you guys that are coming, that are basically trying to rediscover things together and also incorporate an import as well. See, Coach Frankie, a lot of people thought that and understand that he's a major old school coach. But did you, mm -hmm. have you seen him start to adapt as well to try understand the younger players that he has also? Actually, parang hindi naman siya old school in terms of his system. Kasi mm -hmm. hilig niya tumakbo eh. Gusto niya run and gun, <laughs> tas fast pace talaga. So, so I guess in terms of yung system niya, hindi naman siya old school na poste poste, slow down, set up plays. I think he really wants a fast paced game. So yun. All right, we're gonna try with BGR again. Hey BGR, could you hear us? Can you hear me? Yep, absolutely. So again, BGR, uh, personally, I want to ask you in particular because uh, you came into this team wanting to be a, a defensive anchor, defensive player, and just your thoughts on how you. Accepted that role here with uh, with Nlex this time around, and how you can evolve that next conference. Uh, you know, just you know, I, I always pride myself on my on my defense, and uh, you know, Coach Frankie and other coaches, you know, they asked me to come in and just you know from the beginning, you know, have that mindset to where you know I'm gonna help the team, 
you know, on defense. You know, uh, I told myself, you know, that's where I make my money, you know, on the defensive side of the ball. So, um, you know, this next coming conference, you know, I think our chemistry on that side of the ball is going to be a lot better. And, uh, you know, our import too, Jonathan Simmons, you know, he's a great defender. You know, just a couple of days he's been here, you know, we've already seen it in practice. So I think overall, you know, our defense should improve a lot. Oh, that's going to be very exciting and something to look forward to for the PBA fans. But Justin, um, this conference, you averaged nine points per game, 4.2 rebounds, started in three games. In terms of your individual role, how is it for you um, in this new system under Coach Frankie Lim? Well, uh, well, nung bagong pasok siya, syempre, medyo nag-iba nga yung role ko sa team, di ba? Kasi, I guess, siguro, first and foremost, hindi naman niya ako, I mean, kilala or na-handle na before. So, I guess, nag-adjust din siya kung sino, like, rotation niya and, and what to expect from every player. So, hopefully naman, uh, those averages aren't so bad, actually, given the minutes I've played. So, hopefully, makita nila na, like, if I'm on the court, I'm, I could really help the team. Uh, just next start now ng ano ng hashtag let just play for this conference <laughs> just. Okay, <laughs> patrending mo yan, patrending mo. Ako yeah. naman ano basta as long as the team's winning to be honest kasi yeah. last game, last conference ang dami naming like ang gulo talaga, yun, sobrang gulo. So even if I was playing well, tapos talo ng tampak naman, still useless. So I'd rather get those wins, you know. It's better to be in the playoff naman. Eh. Right. All right. Gentlemen, again, really appreciate the time and hopefully we can have you here in the studio next time around so you won't have any connection issues. Uh, good luck in the upcoming conference and uh, say hello to Jonathan Simmons for us because uh, we're actually big fans of that guy too. Thank good you, luck. guys. Mikey, you <laughs> 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 After the break, we'll find out what teams need to do to stay in playoff contention in the Western Conference of the NBA. Stay tuned. You're watching the game.
intriguing. There's a very thin line keeping teams in their respective standings in the Western Conference. In the Western Conference, one big win could mean jumping up three, four, even five spots higher. With us to talk about the West fragile seeding is basketball analyst Mikey Reyes and NBA Philippines All Star analyst Diego Dario. I completely forgot you're not. Alam ko NBA All Star. All Star writer. All Star writer. Okay, so let's talk about the Lakers first because the Lakers had a good streak going on. And uh, a, a lot of people were saying, oh, wait, this win will change our season. This win will change our season. Mikey, what did you see in the latest run? I thought it was The no. win earlier would have changed yeah, their season. Have... Yeah, yeah, but you know, Jokic <laughs> said you can't no. change your season. <laughs> no. But six straight though, you got to give it to them. I mean, mm. with all the struggles. Good job though. Oh, yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Sorry, talaga. Good five, job five, five game, yeah. five game streak lang yun. So it would have been six if they beat. Would have been six. Would have been, been six. Yeah. And pal, if you take a look at the the Lakers and how close this Western Conference is, number twelve yung Lakers yun. Yeah. They had nineteen. They have nineteen mm -hmm. wins. Yeah. And then the number five in Sacramento Kings have twenty one wins. Just two Just games two apart, games. but seven spots. I mean, right there. take right. a look at that. So if you're a Laker fan, you still have your hopes high, especially our producer Ken. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things that can happen for the. Uh, I just want to read out one specific note our our Laker fan producer Ken wrote. He said, "Losing to Denver is okay, but since they lost against a top team." Ah, so <laughs> malubag lob. Okay, Ken. Okay. Sure, sure. All Ken. right, all right. But uh, just to piggyback on that, so with the Lakers, obviously they had a little good run there. LeBron wasn't. Uh, was there last time around. The Phoenix Suns, on the other hand, Ooh. have a lot of injury problems right. and not streaking very well. Well, if you remember, Phoenix Suns, they're the number one team in the West last season. Yeah. And now, they are number eight so far because of the injuries of, you know, Chris Paul, uh, Devin Booker. But they're still a top team in the, in the West. They're still a contender, as you mentioned. It's a close battle in the West, maybe three, four games. Fourth place na. Itong sun. So we'll still never know what the standings will be, especially when we get to the playoffs. Malapit na rin yung All Star. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, some fans are panicking, especially your Golden State. Because mm -hmm. they're not eh, to be in a lower portion of the standing. But slowly improving, slowly getting better. What can you make of yung performance so far in the regular season? It's not actually slowly improving and slowly. I feel like it's just. Para sila hinebre. Para sila mm. hinebra, San Miguel na. They know already when they need to play, when mm -hmm. the games count. So mm -hmm. with teams like this, you, you just enjoy the first half of the season hanggang All-Star break. Then after All-Star for sure, and, ah, one. <laughs> and with the way they play, it looks like they're just enjoying wala, it. Wala, wala. The, Warriors. The, NBA, the NBA season is way too long. You know, it's NBA All-Star. <laughs> the NBA season is way too long for you to worry about the first half. Right. Especially for teams that are used to playing in playoffs. And in it playoffs. seems like they know also. With Steph injured, I mean, Clay just had a 50-point game. It's like they know that they... They know what it takes. They know the recipe they already in yeah. the they NBA. And then, pag playoffs, ibang usapan na. Mikey, when should teams start being worried? Especially with how compressed the, co mm. the standings are right now. You can be in or out of the playoff picture in the span of two, two or three games. Well, entering the All-Star uh, break, you want momentum. But after the All-Star break, that's when teams are going to start to, you know, uh, positioning them. Positioning them. Tapos, syempre, magiging healthy na rin yung mga, yung mga unhealthy teams ngayon. So, you know, after the All-Star break, yan, mga kaibigan. <laughs> yeah, just, just wait up for that. Jex, same, same thoughts? Uh, for me, same thoughts, especially for my Portland Trailblazers. They're currently at 10th now. I'm going to be We're biased injured here. Naman kasi oh, oh, injured oh, oh. si Dame. Injured si Dame. So. And of course, number 11 yung Jazz ko. So, kaya pa, guys! Well, Magkalapin lang tayo pa. Hang on, hang on. Basta ako, inebra ako bukas. Safe and safe that will do okay, it that's it for us here. Mikey, maraming salamat. Really appreciate the time. Thank you, brother. And thank you guys for joining us. I'm Diego Dari. And I'm Paolo Del Rosario. This has been The Game.